Hand embroidery can be a great embellishment on your quilting projects. Today, I'm gonna to share five things that you need to think about when you're adding embroidery to a quilt. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth, and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So hand embroidery is a beautiful embellishment that can be put on to your quilting project. Um, if you've never tried it before and you're looking for some patterns, you can check out my collection of quilt blocks that come with the pattern for the quilt block and a pattern for embroidery that can be used to embellish it with simple stitches. But if you're gonna add embroidery to a quilt, there are a few things that you need to consider to help get a successful finished project. The first thing that you need to do is make sure that all your threads are very secure in the fabric. This is also important if you're gonna be embroidering something that's gonna be framed on a wall or used on a cushion, but quilts generally get different wear and tear. So this is extra important when you're embroidering on a quilt especially if it's something that will get a lot of use, like a bed quilt that will be laundered or a table runner, placemats, things like that. So if you choose, you can anchor the ends of your thread with a knot, but you might want to use a slightly larger knot than you would normally use in embroidery, just to make sure it doesn't pop out of the fabric. You can also secure the ends of your embroidery thread with weaving the ends into the back of the stitches that are already there, but you'll probably want to take extra time to weave it longer and in multiple dimensions to make sure that that's not going to pop out. It's really disappointing if you go to all the effort of hand embroidering something and then finishing as a quilt and then the embroidery starts to come out of the project. The second tip for embroidering on a quilting project is to keep your embroidery light. Don't have a lot of really dense, thick stitches close together because that'll have a big impact on your finished project. It could make it much stiffer in that spot and also it will wear at a different rate than the rest of your project and those stitches could actually um, wear away due to use or they could be pulling at the fabric underneath. If you do have some dense embroidery or if you're quilting with very lightweight fabric then you'll probably want to add a stabilizer underneath just to help support those stitches in that area. The third tip is to avoid really long stitches. This is a general tip for embroidery but if you're doing something that's going to be framed on a wall, then you can sometimes get away with that, with having long stitches like a larger size of satin stitch or something like that. But on a quilt where it's going to be moving around, then long stitches could easily get caught and pulled or even ripped out as you're using the item. So avoid long pieces of thread on the quilt. The fourth tip is similar to that, and that's to avoid long threads even on the inside of the quilt. So if you're stitching a section, then you're going to go over and stitch another section. Avoid carrying the thread on the back from one section to the other. And that's because in a quilt project, that might be visible. Often shadows can come through the fabric. And so you'll be able to see the threads. So if you finish off your threads in the area where you're stitching and then start the thread in the next section, that will avoid being able to see shadows from the threads on the back. If you keep the back of your embroidery neat, that will help your finished project look better. The last tip is to think about how the quilting and the embroidery are gonna to work together. If you have a quilt that has a lot of embroidery all over it, then you're going to need to think if you're either going to have very light far apart quilting or if your quilting is going to go around and through the embroidery or if your quilting is going to go right over top of the embroidery. And there are different options depending on your project, but you will have to think through how that's going to work together. Embroidery is an embellishment on fabric 
but quilting can also be an embellishment on fabric. So before you start your project, just think about how those two different kinds of stitchings are going to work together so that they're not competing and you don't end up taking away from the effect of your embroidery by your quilting stitches. So I have this table runner here that has freestyle embroidered wreaths. And on this piece, I've just done light quilting and it's these circles in red thread. And so that it echoes and supports the embroidery rather than competing with it. So this is a piece that stood up to use in wear and tear. And you can see that I thought about how the quilting and the embroidery could work together in this project. To see more samples of quilting embroidery working together, you can check out my link below and be sure to visit my website, evadastudio.com.